Iftar tiling is a small but very useful add-on for users who would like to place tiles with different colors or textures on a horizontal or vertical surface in AutoCAD. After the installation, the program appears in the Aptar Solutions tiling menu. In this menu, we can see several options, load library, registration, user's manual, about, and tile selected items. To start the work with tiling, the user should activate the online license by clicking on the registration option. Without the activation, the add-on will run in demo mode. Now click on the menu option. A small window appears and here the validate an already purchased key should be selected. Then click on next. In the next window, there are two fields, username and password. Fill these out with the registration data received from Aptar. If the user would like to save this data on this machine, check in the Save Password on this machine checkbox, then click on Next. The activation is done. In the next step, the tiling library should be loaded. The add-on loads the tiling library into the active Archicad libraries. Here it is. Now we can start the real tiling work. In the document menu, model view options, there is a tiling settings option. Here, the user can choose from several languages and also set different colors and textures for the eight predefined tile types. For example, we can select for the second option, the black tile for the third, a grid pattern, and for the fourth, the green option. Click on OK. The default settings are set and the work can begin. First, we have to select the element where we'd like to place tiles. I select this wall. Then I click in the Aptar solution, Aptar menu on the tile selected items line. The settings window appears. And the first button is the Use Library Global Settings. When I check on this checkbox, I will use the global or default settings, which I set in the model view options. If I want to change some parameters, I can uncheck it and I can set all parameters that are different than the default. I now select different textures for different tile items, black, green, etc. Click on OK. The cursor shape changed to the small i. It means I have to choose the side of this wall where I wish to place tiles. Click on this side and the tiles are placed onto this wall. If the selected wall has another wall connected on that side where tiles are placed, the add-on will split the tiled surface to two independent parts. The part that is not necessary, we can delete. Let's see how it looks in 3D. We don't need this part around the door. I select and delete it. This part disappeared on the floor plan too. If I select this tile element and open the settings window, we can see a lot of parameters which we can always change. I can also hide the 2D representation of the tile surface drawing. It will be indicated only with the small symbol on the side of the wall where I placed it. OK, let's place tiles on this surface. Select the wall. Click on the menu option. The settings window appears again, and I'd like to choose some other textures. I found these textures are not good for me. 
Previously, I placed a custom texture into the library. And clicking on the Load Picture button, I will load it into the active library. Now in the list of textures, the new texture is available and I can apply it. Change the size of this style and click on OK. Again, I have to select one side of the wall and click there. Tiles are placed. But as we can see in 3D, they only come up until the bottom line of the window and it's just one type of tile used. So, I want to make changes. I select it and open the settings window. On the third tab of the parameters window, the view mode, I switch to the tile mode and check in the show textures into the checkbox. The tiles palette appears in 3D and also in 2D. This palette contains eight types of tiles, which we set earlier in the settings window. I can change the allocation and design of tiles using these purple editable hotspots. With these hotspots, I can stretch the surface and make it bigger or smaller, or adjust it to the necessary level. I now set the top of the wall, and it's visible that the add-on cuts the opening out of the tiled surface. With the editable hotspots, I can change tiles in 3D as well. On each side of the window, the editable hotspots are available. And when I grab them, I can turn tiles onto the window's reveal. I do this on all four reveals. How to change the content of this surface? I select the tile element and if I want to change one row, I grab one tile from the palette and put it on the hotspot of that row. This row is now changed. If I would like to replace only one single tile somewhere, I grab the tile from the palette again and place it on the selected tile and click. I change the texture of the first tile to green and place the beige one somewhere. This will be visible enough that it's changed to this one. I can use not only tiles, but the decorative strip too, placing it to the rose hotspot. Of course, it is visible in 3D also. Let's go back to the floor plan and continue with the horizontal surface. I select this slab and click on the Tile Selected Items option in the menu. The settings window appears and as in case of wall tiles, all parameters are available also for floor tiles. I can define different textures for tiles. In the textures list, only default textures are available again, but clicking on load pictures, I load once again a custom texture. I select and apply it on this slab surface. I select the tile element and open the settings window. I click again the view mode to tile and turn on the show textures into the option. The small palette appears here too. I can change the row or only one tile on the surface, like it was in case of the wall. With the editable hotspots, I can change the geometry of this surface or rotate it to the other direction. With the tiling solution, I can create a material list too. I select this for all tile surfaces and click on the document menu, listing extras, 
component list basic line. The list appears where I can see the required quantity of different tiles applied on this surface. Thank you for your attention.